how to buy the coolest things out in Taobao. Well, I'll tell you in today's video. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. In today's video, we are going to talk about the most amazing thing in the world, Taobao, of course. In this video, I'm going to give you guys five tips for finding the coolest things on that website or app if you have it on the phone. So without further ado, let's get into this video. First, I just want to say that before setting up your Taobao account, it's very important to have an Alipay account. If you don't have an Alipay account, you cannot pay yourself for your Taobao purchases. You need to invite another friend, like send a message to them via Taobao to make them pay for your purchases. So I really, really, really suggest that you set up an Alipay account before you get started on Taobao. Tip number one is about finding the really cool things that you see on Instagram. If you're just like me and you're following really cool Instagrammers and you're looking at their stuff and thinking, oh my God, I want that, or oh my God, that decor is so freaking cool. Well, I have just learned that if you search INS and then write the thing you're looking for, very often something similar actually comes up. So a while ago I started looking for like really cool gym outfits and I actually hadn't really seen any on Instagram but then I just bumped into this term and then when I saw INS and then it says something like big Instagram um, super model Instagram or something in Chinese of course um, but then also the word for, for gym outfit and I was like like, wow, this is so cool. Like these things, I actually really like them because very often I don't feel like buying the Chinese fashion. So it's really cool. They come up when you write INS. You can do this with decor as well if you are about to decorate your apartment and you want it to look more like, well for me, I like it to look more like Scandinavian style. So I search Bao or INS Bao or just Bao and something like, again, if I'm looking for a sofa, then I'll of course write Bao and Shafa. Or Number two, if you're just like me, a little more curvy than most Chinese girls, then you probably realize that if you buy Chinese fashion on Taobao, it's very often way too small. Yes. I, again, as I said, is not a super fan of Chinese fashion in general. So I learned that if you write O Mei for O like Ojo and Mei for Meiguo, if you put those two characters together and search for like female clothing or just a dress or a jacket or whatever you're looking for, then a lot of like foreign brands come up, but they come the close the clothes come straight from the factories so it's still like quite cheap compared to if you went to H&M or Zara to buy it straight away. Tip number three for buying the coolest things here on Taobao. Well, one thing is that on Taobao there are a lot of cheaters because it's very easy to set up your little Taobao shop and well, one good example is a while ago I started exercising quite like seriously and I was looking for gym powder and a protein powder, right? So I was a little scared about that because I've heard a lot of, you know, in China they have a lot of um, food safety issues and a lot of stories um, about that topic. So I was like, am I going to kill myself if I buy protein powder from Taobao? Well, I just learned that you have to look through the reviews, guys. The reviews are so freaking important. Of course, these Taobao sellers can also get their friends to like write a lot of reviews, but if you're looking for especially these more, um, well, these more like safety, th like clothes is not super important, I think, but if you're looking for like, let's say protein powder and you wanna make sure that it's a good product, then you can look through the reviews and if it has like 5,000 people already bought it and everyone said yes, it's really great, then you are obviously more safe to buy that. I would definitely go for that one instead of the one where it's like 10 people bought it and three of them just wrote, yes, it's good, yes, it's good, yes, it's good, and there are no pictures and you're like, right, that's definitely not true. <laughs> I've got to say though that the tip one and tip two, the INS stuff and the OME 
clothing is usually not very popular so usually I'm the first one who buys it or I'm the first one who actually puts down a review so when you're buying those kind of products do not always look for the reviews because they might often be just totally empty I've still bought a lot of stuff uh, via those two words and it has been super nice still I've been very happy about my purchases tip four if there is something very specific that you're looking for like let me see just as an example when I came back from Denmark I realized that I really wanted to eat more tortilla pancakes and I was like how the F do I say that in Chinese, right? So first I just thought, okay, I'll just search for Mexico. So I found the word for Mexico in my dictionary, Pleco dictionary on my phone. The word for Mexico, I put the Chinese characters into Taobao, uh, the Taobao search uh, part into, into the search thing. Don't know what that's called. But I put it in there and then the Taobao came up with like different suggestions are you looking for the Mexico blah 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 bing and I was like oh maybe it's probably some kind of bing and then I just like looked it up like that but I also tried to search tortilla in the Pleco dictionary and it came up with an, a suggestion what it could be called so I tried that as well and I found the tortilla pancakes immediately so as I said if you're looking for something very specific you're not sure what to call it if it's like a foreign thing or something then just go into your dictionary Dictionary, find a word and then put it into Taobao and boom I'm sure you're gonna find it tip number five last but not least there are still a lot of fake products on Taobao and if you're looking for a pair of like let's say fake Yeezys then you can find them everywhere there they are in my suggested now because I tried to search for the original first and then it comes up in the suggestions suggested as well but usually the fake ones are hidden under other names so you have to do a little bit of research and like scroll around I look up Baidu and then I search what is this this product called in Chinese and then or you can also write a and then they also come up as well so. that was all for this little video I hope that you enjoyed it if you have other good tips and tricks please let me know in the comments below I'm super excited I would love to know how to find the most amazing things on Taobao of course Taobao is the thing <laughs> around here so please give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling check out my social media Instagram Lena around Facebook Lena around and Patreon Lena around check it out if you feel like it thank you again for watching and I'll see you again very very soon Ling Ling out see ya and bye bye